What's up everyone and welcome back to another fun week of All Around Beauty 411 and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to get this blue look right here. Bienvenidos mi amorcitos por un otro video de All Around Beauty 411 esta semana video this blue look right here. I wasn't sure on how to say that like azules or you know we're still Estoy aprender. So, I'm learning. I'm getting it together. I got y'all. So, if you want to know how to get this look, please keep on watching. Also, something that I haven't been saying, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button and please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Alright guys, so I'm going to be taking the Morphe 35B palette and of course based on the title of this video, I'm going to be using all of these blues right here. This is black. I probably won't get into that. I might, I might not maybe to go ahead and smoke out the eyeshadow, but I've already primed my lids and I've already done my brows, which I typically always do. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off with the light blue I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over the lid and I'm gonna probably go ahead and mix the light blue with this like purple ish kind of color to go ahead and give a type of um, like gradient so let's go ahead and get started guys so now that I'm looking a little crazy I am going to go ahead and do like a little swoop um, <laughs> with the eyes so I'm gonna go in with the in a frame I'm gonna go in with the Laura Lee this is the party animal and I'm gonna be using the shade karaoke I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and apply it right into the crease to go ahead and give me a much more definition I am gonna go in with the much darker blue that is in the 35 B palette for this type of look you do want to go in with a brush that is thin like this I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up um, but it's mainly compacted. The brush that I'm using it is by the Vintage Cosmetic Company. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pack it in really well. And let's get started. Alright guys, so now that I have a cut crease, I'm going to go ahead in with the Party Animal by Laura Lee. And it is the karaoke and damage control. I'm going to go ahead and reinforce that cut crease that we're going for. So let's get started. All right, guys. So I went ahead and zoomed in just so you guys could see the crease that we're giving you. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in this part right here because to me that's just not attractive um so i'm gonna go in with the juvia's place this is their delilah color it is super super pigmented just so you guys can see it on camera like that is blue baby that is the ocean right there um, so we're going to go ahead and put this all over the lid. I am probably going to start off applying it with my finger and then I will go in with a small impacted brush. So, empieza. Let's get started. Alright guys, so I went ahead and did my foundation and baked my face and I put on some lashes. So I'm going to go in with my... You already know my NARS. This is my favorite, favorite blush. Um, this is Tazo, I believe. Um, this is, like I said, Holy Grail. I love it. It makes you look super rosy, super pink. So let's go ahead and apply it. So now that I'm going to go ahead and dust it off, we're going to go in with some highlight. So I'm going to go back in with the Juvia's Place just because this is very, very pigmented. So this is Zola and I'm going to go ahead and use this as a highlighter. And I know what you're thinking. It's not a highlighter. It's eyeshadow. 
yes you can go ahead and substitute a lot of things in the makeup industry for what it is not or for what it is so let's get started Alright guys, so this is the finishing look. This honestly so far is like my favorite, favorite look. I like the blue. It makes me look a little icy, you know, icy, wifey. It is on a fight, no, I'm just playing. Um, but I definitely like it. It looks super, super cute. Um, I love the cut crease that I did. I wasn't sure if I was going to add black or not, but I went ahead and added a little bit in it anyway. And I'm kind of glad that I did because it brought it out. Um, and then I just went ahead and topped it off with some clear gloss. You know me. Clear gloss don't hurt nobody. So, you know, this is all I have for this week. So, I'll see you guys next Friday.